Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today, we're joined by Mr. George B. He is the president of U.S. Gold Corp, ticker USAU. They are a publicly traded, U.S.-focused gold exploration and development company. Mr. B. is a senior mining industry executive with deep mine development and operational experience. He has extensive career advancing world-class gold mining projects in eight countries on three continents for both major and junior mining companies. Good afternoon, George, and thanks for joining us again. Good afternoon, Mike. Nice to see you again. So to start off, there was a positive article in a local Wyoming paper about your CK Gold project recently. So the locals seem to be enthusiastic about U.S. Gold's prospects there. What more can you tell us about recent developments uh, at CK Gold? Yes, Mike. Uh, the, uh, we had a local reporter pick up on some of the marketing uh, uh, that we've been doing. And uh, as a consequence, uh, uh, we uh, engaged with the reporter and uh, you know it was a it was a good opportunity uh, to get out and discuss with the uh, local stakeholders some of the aspects uh, about the pro uh, project uh, we had uh, gosh we had over 20 uh, 20 meetings with local stakeholders um, re local ranchers mayor of cheyenne mayor of laramie um, board of public utilities the parks department and uh, every you know everybody was really quite interested, quite optimistic about the possibilities that the project presented. Now, one of the one of the things that we wanted to get across to the locals was some idiosyncrasies about the CK Gold project. Um, you know, they, uh, they had mentioned that it was a gold mine. Well, we are a gold mine, but um, we're using gravity flotation and froth flotation in order to extract a concentrate. So the important thing for the locals to understand is that um, there would be no on-site smelting or refining, so therefore no stack emissions. There would be um, really uh, no need for some of the more uh, noxious chemicals associated with gold mining at the CK Gold Project. And um, in addition to that, we would also be uh, reclaiming all of the water and having uh, dry stack tailings. So from that perspective, no conventional tailings facility. So really it is a very, uh, a very interesting project and one which uh, should not have any impact on the environment. Very good, George, thank you. Um, and next, could you maybe just give us a, a, a bit of a deeper dive into your positive results on metallurgical testing uh, at CK? Yes, uh, well, the, the, the testing uh, that we're doing at the moment on the metallurgy uh, is uh, really to improve recoveries. And um, we've got good recoveries overall on the uh, resource um, as uh, initially uh, conducted by SDS in 2009. But what we've been focusing on recently is improving recoveries uh, in the oxide portion, which is, a, which is albeit a minor portion of the deposit. Um, we've improved recoveries substantially on the uh, copper and the gold. And to that end, um, you know, that will uh, generate a, a much better um, uh, product project economics uh, from that initial mining as we go through the oxide zone into sulfides. And are you guys still waiting on the assays uh, and are you still on track for the uh, PFS? Well, that's quite frustrating. And I think uh, all mining companies have been uh, uh, somewhat frustrated by the fact that uh, assay labs are backed up and uh, normally due to COVID, it's not their fault, uh, but uh, we're getting our results. We're on track for our pre-feasibility study, but uh, we've got some really good assay results coming in now. And um, those uh, we will be releasing to uh, into the public domain shortly. Very good, George. Okay. Uh, that's all the questions we had for today. Anything else you uh, would like to add or tell us about your ongoing? Actually, forgot to mention this. Uh, can you, well, is there um, you know, we. Um, I just wanted to mention that yeah. we um, we did do a raise of uh, nine point six uh, million dollars. We've had um, a fair number of warrants, uh, probably about a million dollars worth of uh, warrants coming in. We're fully funded through the end of uh, this year through our uh, what you know pre feasibility study into feasibility. And what we should be uh, should be also doing is conducting our exploration on our uh, Keystone asset uh, and uh, a number of the holes in uh, the Maggie Creek asset and continuing our work at Chalice. 
So from that perspective, uh, it's all uh, all go for US gold and our uh, plans uh, for the future. Excellent, very good. George, thanks for your time. Pleasure having you on as always. Thank you very much. Take care. All right, everybody. Again, we're talking to Mr. George B., president of U.S. Gold Corp. Their ticker is USAU. And as you know, they're a publicly traded U.S.-focused gold exploration and development company. You can learn more about them at their website and see their latest investor presentation at usgoldcorp.gold. Thanks for watching CEO Roadshow.